Self-sovereign identity. He's getting ready over there. Peter Verkoulen, are you ready for this? Yes. You have two minutes to introduce your challenge to the audience. Yes, Good luck. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, in an environment where you're executing transactions, obviously identity is very important because you have to know whom or what you're dealing with. And in an environment of digital transactions, also blockchain applications, it's obviously about digital identity. And at the Dutch Blockchain Coalition, we think that self-sovereign identity is the way to go uh, there. So I want to decide myself who can know what about me and for what purpose. And the same holds for entities, uh, by the way. And also attestation is important there. I build my own, let's say, digital presence by what people or what organizations state uh, about me. And the obvi obvious example always is I go to a liquor store, why show my full passport if there's only an attestation needed that says that I'm over 18? And maybe you can see it, by the way. Uh, and it also shows that this is a bi-directional thing, eh, because the organization on the other side decides which attestation gives him sufficient trust to really execute the transaction uh, with me. So we are very happy that because of the endeavors of uh, Minister Knops and his team, together with the Ministry and uh, Digi Campus, we are able to host a uh, challenge for a digital self-sovereign uh, identity. Uh, where we work in the Odyssey ecosystem because we can only do it all together. We want to reach out to each of the challenges, like Rutger said in, uh, in the beginning. Uh, and really that cooperation will uh, give us uh, the result. Having said that, it will not only be about technology, it's also about things like ethical questions, uh, legal questions, uh, etc. And also it's not only about the hackathon in April, but it's the whole journey starting today here in the Ridderzaal. So join the team uh, and tell us what we can do to help you in your challenges with providing digital self-sovereign identity, but also give us input and feedback and your learnings, because that's the only way that we can bring this uh, forward. Thanks and looking forward to a cooperation with you.